So I'm the artistic leader of Stereo Act, which is a theater production workshop based here in Budapest. We founded it in 2013. We have made uh, site-specific shows and uh, ones in a theater hall and ones uh, in public space. Um, things for that we keep on repertoire and things that uh, were more like one-off events and our uh, event focused event based shows are many times participative and I often work with also uh, civilian participants we involve them to um, certain processes for certain phases of the creation process or even on stage it's very essential for a Hungarian independent artists to be on the international field because uh, partly because of practical reasons that uh, you have to find your, uh, your people to you can work with uh, your market your audience which is not necessarily contemporary theater is not the most popular thing in Hungary but also uh, that uh, because of the lack of support or this uh, cultural strategy from the side of the government which is very conservative and very reserved and uh, supporting uh, general liberal arts so now uh, it's really important to, to grasp in the, in the independent international scene and also as an artist you many times find uh, people who who are interested in the same thing far away so interest is not a question of kilometers so because of this also and, and I'm interested in open structures that uh, that I'd like to test how uh, it reacts or intervenes with the different contexts cities communities in a different audience even in different language so I, I'm, I'm not coming from the I don't know, urbanist side, for example. So I'm not, not so much interested in the in the city or architecture or I don't know, but more I like to work with uh, amateurs. I, I like to meet strangers. I, I like to um, uh, to work with, I don't know, community work is important for me. And, and uh, also I, in almost every piece I ask the question if you are a passive viewer of your life or an active protagonist and this is something that is very sharp uh, in the public space which is supposed to be the space of uh, democracy or a democratic space uh, and uh, especially in Hungary uh, the first step is that where we are still uh, after 25 years of the changing of the system that uh, many people don't form a right to own this common space they don't even think it's a common space it's something that belongs to the state so we, we cannot have any claim about it and um, but also the, the common responsibility uh, that we share not on the street but uh, in the public space in a more abstract meaning so um, it's really easy to lose your enthusiasm and your belief because the, the bigger and bigger scandals are provoking you less and less by time always and uh, uh, like news that would provoke people to go out the street and change the government like eight years ago are completely ordinary uh, messages of today's for me, is uh, one important thing is that uh, whatever you do as an artist or an activist, it's always just a very little puzzle in the system. But it's important not to lose the belief that uh, that it's good to be a puzzle. And even if you don't see the consequences of your work immediately, it must have some impact, maybe in someone else, which who will do something in five years. Um, so this this puzzle way of thinking that just I don't know uh, be brave to be to be small and uh, and also that um, there is a lot of potential in the people that you can bring out somehow and for this you have to provoke and be the trigger 
to to get it out and if you have any power to to create a framework in which this can happen it's good useful do it yeah being a civilian and being independent that's what um, that that is what a, a possible political answer to be so you don't have to be a part of a party but um, uh, it's also one attempt of the government just like in Russia to to weak to make uh, the civilian organizations weaker so it's it's really important now to to stand for them and to to support or or to become one or to underline your uh, or being a civilian. I, I also have a lot of friends living, working abroad, temporarily or long term, I don't know, they also don't know. Uh, and I'm, I'm very curious to work uh, also abroad, but I'm not planning and I think I will never consider to, to move like forever from Hungary. This is a, this is a, battle you have to fight here and and there is nothing wrong about that i mean uh, the the amount of problems is very relative and you would have anywhere uh, yeah this is this is my professional surrounding and my human surrounding and this is my city so it's okay but at the same time i'm i'm very um, ambitious to to work uh, internationally but it's always, I think it's for one project and then I'm here again and then another project there and yeah, so like a normal freelancer in Europe today.